hello there in my previous video we have learned how to load static resources and we have created this page so i have unchanged this particular page till now so that i can show you how to create a master page for our application so a master page is a page in which the contents are added dynamically now so to add the content dynamically we need to identify the different section of the page that is the navigation bar the main section and the footer section so if i open my page.jsp in this bootstrap starter template that i am using you can see it is nicely given okay the navigation section is here the page content section is here and uh, at below there would be a footer section is also there this is the footer section inside a container they have added a footer so this is how you need to identify the different section of your template that you are using so any template which you use make sure there are this different section nicely commented out so you can modify it easily so that this navigation this content and footer can be separated out so my first job is to separate out each section into different jsp file so in this template the navigation bar and the footer will be repeated in many pages so the first thing i'm going to include is this navigation bar and the footer so i'm gonna use this navigation bar i'm gonna collapse it control i'm gonna copy this navigation code entirely control x and here i'm going to include that navigation bar but where i'm going to paste it so for that i will go inside my views and i'm going to create another directory and we'll call it as shared because this code is going to be shared across different pages so i'm going to right click new file and i'm going to say this is my navbar.jsp once this is done i can paste my navigation code so that it becomes easy for any developer to update and the same update will be reflected in all the pages now i need to include that particular page so i'm going to use the person at the rate include directive and i'm going to specify the file the file is located at forward slash shared slash it means look into the current directory the current directory is views inside that look for a shared directory and inside that look for the file navbar dot gsp so this is how i separated out the navigation now similarly i'm going to separate out the footer so this is the footer part inside this container so i am gonna copy this okay and i'm going to write here footer comes here and i'm going to again go to shared right click new file and i'm going to say this is my footer dot jsp i'm going to paste the code here later on i can modify this footer dot jsp but right now inside my page dot jsp which is my master page i am going to include that so dot forward slash shared forward slash footer dot jsp and this container from this to this this page contain i am going to separate it out and i am going to say this is my home dot jsp the page content or you can call it the index content whatever you feel like so the page content is actually going to be residing here so now this page content i am going to keep it inside views i'm not going to keep it inside shared because footer and navbar is something which is i am going to share across pages but right now in this views new file and let me call this file as home.jsp and i'm going to paste that code here so it contains only that much part home.jsp so save everything so now we need to load that content here so how can we load that so similarly like how we loaded the navbar and footer i'm going to load it here so percent at the rate include the file but right now that file is not inside shared it is outside so i'm going to 
name it simply as home dot jsp so i modified this code saved it so now my code looks only this much that is a navigation bar has been included the page content has been included and the footer has been included now if i refresh it you can see it is loading so i am still getting the same page okay so after separating out each section i have included that files now we'll be adding the title and also make sure that the main content is only loaded when the user clicks on home this is important the content should be loaded only when the user clicks home and we need to also add the title okay so let me go to a page.jsp and make those changes here i am going to specify okay this is my online shopping but i am going to specify also the title that i am going to specify and this title will come from my controller which controller so we have already coded our page controller and after this title i also need to make sure that this content is loaded only when the user clicks home so i'm going to use c colon if i'm going to test something i'm going to test user click home is equal equal to true I'm going to close it. Save. I'm going to paste it here. So this home dot JSP will be only loaded when user click home. But from where it will get this user click home? Again, it it will get this user click home from the controller. So we need to add that object inside this controller, the title and the user click home. So I'm going to quickly add. Now we don't require this greeting, so I'm going to remove this greeting. Instead of greeting, I'm going to add title. So the title of the page would be, say, I'm inside the home page. And similarly here, I'm going to add user click home. And the value that I'm going to pass would be true. So only when home or index is there, this user click home variable will have the value as true. So it will look into this page dot jsp and will say, okay, this user click home is equal equal to true. Load include this page. So let me see if everything is working properly. So refresh it because I am inside home. So it is getting refresh. Because I modified the controller. So it takes time. And you can see the content has been loaded. So and to make sure the title has been displayed so you can see this home is available now from that. And I am able to load this page as well. Now we need to modify the navigation bar to include the contact and the about us page because I'm going to create a master page. So first of all, I'm going to change the navigation bar. So where can I find that navigation bar? So we have already separated out the code in navbar.jsp. So wherever yeah, this start bootstrap, so I'm going to change it now and call it as online shopping. And the, this href would be dollar context root forward slash you can call it as home so I'll take it to the home page and next I'm going to change this about so instead of anchor href I'm going to use context root forward slash about and similarly I'm going to make it as context root as contact and this instead of service I'm going to say view products so later on I'm going to display some list of products I'm just making that it right now so list of products so this is how I modified my URL make sure you're adding this context root otherwise it won't work it requires that context root to be available in your href 
so I've modified this thing as about live product and contact now I need to add that request mapping in the page controller so I'm going to open my page controller I'm going to copy this request mapping now I'm going to remove this value because I don't have multiple values but instead of that I am having slash about now and this method name would be also about the title would be about us now user is not clicking home when he is clicking about so he is clicking about so I'm going to change it to about and I'm going to return that MV but notice here I am returning page here also I am returning page that's fine because I'm gonna manage it using this user click about similarly I'm going to copy and make it as contact here also it would be contact and this about will become contact and this about will also become contact so I have created this about and contact so after that request mapping is done in the page controller I need to modify that page.gsp now inside this page.gsp I am going to write few more code here I am going to copy paste it include this particular section only when user clicks about so here instead of home it would be about and I need to create another JSP file and I am going to call it as about.jsp it will show me an error right now because I have not that I don't have that about.jsp file so I'm gonna quickly create that about.jsp file also but here I'm gonna copy it again and I'm gonna say okay load only when user clicks contact so here I need to say okay user click contact and open this contact.jsp file so I need to add two JSP file here so I'm gonna right click on views new file I'm going to say this is my contact.jsp I'm going to right click on views and say about.jsp finish so I have now three files home.jsp contact.jsp and about.jsp so I'm going to quickly write about.jsp I'm going to say div with a class of container so container is a bootstrap class I'm gonna add a row div class equal to row and inside this I'm going to have an h1 tag and say this is my about us hr slash forward slash I'm gonna add a paragraph this is an about us page so similarly I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna open my contact.jsp I'm gonna paste it here instead of about us I'm going to say this is my contact us and this is an contact us page so home.jsp also has this container row and inside my contact.jsp also container row and about.jsp also container so I'm only including that content which is required for that respective page now I need to test the link so to test the link I need to refresh this getting loaded I can just check my console so I can see home about contact has been mapped and page is getting loaded okay so the page is loaded I can see that about and you can see at the below bottom left hand side you can see online shopping slash about and similarly in contact there is online shopping slash contact and this I have not coded yet but I will be coding later so I need to click on this about and you can see I can view the about us along with my navigation bar along with my footer I can modify my footer to be displayed below but I will show it in the later videos 
and if I click on contact I can see the contact has page and if I click on online shopping I can again go back to my home page so this is how quickly you can create a master page and in the next video I'm going to show you how to solve that active menu problem using jQuery now what this active menu problem is I'm not able to identify which menu is active right now because usually it is highlighted which menu is active so I'm not able to do that so which I'm going to show in the next video thanks for watching